Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Yitu Shade from Polygon Motion, and uh, in this tutorial, we will create a very artistic and very cool click on the pattern animation using After Effects built in tools. Okay, let's take a look what we're gonna create in this tutorial. You see a very nice and very cool uh, click on a pattern animation. There is a path, there is cursor, and also a click animation and a breast, and also text. Okay. Let's uh, create a new composition for this, and um, I'm just using uh, HDTV, and uh, three seconds is good. Click on it, okay, and now we want to create our background. Make it a little bit bluish, because I like blue, and you can use any color that you want. Let's name it ground and make comp size, click OK, off your caps lock, maybe a little bit darker. The first thing that I want to create is create a button. Let's uh, choose a red color for that and also drag it like that and also place it to the center. Okay, very nice. And also maybe a little bit darker. Click on the text and write by or maybe sign in or anything else that you want, but in my case the by is better. Place it in the center. Make it a little bit uh, larger. Very nice. And also place it here. Very good. Now let's name this button and uh, let's create a null object. Pattern the bifixed to the button. It means that when we uh, change the position of this button, the position of the text also change with that. Okay, let's create a stroke for this button. Go to ellipse and maybe control D, duplicate that. Go to transform and scale it down. Delete the fill because we don't need fill. We just need the strokes like this. And you see a very good uh, line stroke in here. Maybe a little bit dashes we need like this. Or maybe very nice. Okay. And uh, the other thing that I want to do is make it a little bit smaller sorry I just forgot to parent this to null object and make it a little bit smaller like this and also drag uh, the cursor this one cursor like this and you can mask it out but I'm just using a pre-made vector free on Google search you can uh, download it and make it white good and, and uh, a little bit smaller not too much like this and very nice okay now I want to create our path that this cursor go along the way of that path and follow that path okay using a pen tool I'm just drawing a non fill color path like this I'm not good for in drawing but I'll fix it Okay, very nice, and uh, let's tweak it a little bit, and uh, it's very cool animation. I've seen this type of uh, clicking animation in lots of infographic videos, and it's very cool at all, and, and when I've seen that, I just decide to make a, a specific tutorial on uh, Polygon Motion YouTube channel for you guys and maybe it will helpful for you and uh, you can use it in your motion graphic videos. Okay. Now 
the pad is created and let's give it a little bit stroke like this and I think in here I have just a little bit problem go to shape and select the pad it's a little bit good I think it's good you can tweak it the way that you want and maybe nicer than that <laughs> okay delete the fill and also go to stroke make it a little bit not much more thinner and also create dashes like this and uh, cool not bad now I want to animate uh, this cursor along the way of this pad and this cursor will make the pad and draw the pad also and for this I'm just renaming uh, this to pad very nice and uh, let's go to transform and in add to orient I'm just check on the orient along the pad it will orient itself this cursor along the pad for example in this way it's rotate itself now I'm just going to pad and click on a pad control C go to position okay one thing that I forgot is to make the anchor point in this center because we want to orient this cursor alongside of this uh, anchor point very nice okay click on this and in position control V now you see that it's animated alongside of the pad very cool and it's good let's a little bit not much more okay and make this uh, interpolation type to easies and also this to easies and now play this I think it's a little bit uh, slower but we will fix it and also the thing that I want to do is turn pad is use turn pad to draw or maybe animate the end point make it zero in this point exact same this point just click on the end and go to this keyframe and make it 100 okay you see that it's not following exact same point of this cursor but the problem is that we have to change the interpolation type to easy ease like this and now you see it's drawing exact same position of this pad and now make it a little bit faster in here and also select this by holding the alt we will drag it like this without any changes to keyframe position or between these keyframes like this very nice let's drag our uh, click pattern and also fill this to white scale it down and place it in here now let's off this and and also I'm just trying to create the click pattern when it's going in here it must be clicked out and uh, by selecting the null object because these layers are linked to this null object and in here I'm just push it back and like this make these keyframes to easies now let's take a look very nice not so bad and uh, good and also in cursor I'm just mm, use maybe delete this because I show you uh, another technique when it's coming here it must be changed to a hand cursor because it's link okay by selecting cursor and go to edit and uh, is split layer once it's is split by holding alt selecting a cursor holding the alt and also drag this hand button in here and once you drag it automatically change the shape of this cursor to this uh, 
type of handling pattern without any changes to the position or anything else. You see, it's very nice and good. Okay, and I want to scan in here. Let's animate the scale of this cursor. Maybe a little bit pushed back and like this, but not too much. Make it easy ease and also place it the exact same button, uh, position of this clicking on the button. Very nice. And, uh, and now let's animate uh, the end point of this turn pad, okay? Because we don't want to see this turn pad, these pads uh, in this, on the screen. It must be disappear, okay? Go to path and uh, in the start, animate start also like this. Make it easy ease and, uh, and also make a random position like this. You see a very good result. And you can also offset that a little bit, not too much. And make this to individual. Now let's see. Very nice. Good. Not too bad. Let's make our burst effect. When it's clicked, a burst must be shown on like this click. You see a very nice burst. Okay. Let's make that. The first thing that I want to do is uh, make a very small rectangle. Good. Do a rectangle and play the stroke. Go to rectangle pad and change the position. Let's add a repeater. Copy, nine copy, maybe more and change the position to zero and rotation. Now you see a very good uh, burst effect. Okay, let's animate the scale of this burst and go to transform of rectangle, not the transform of the repeater. And then here, I'm just make it zero and click on keyframe, go in here and make it 100. Now you see a very good burst effect and uh, let's uh, go to graph editor and make it a little bit interesting and uh, very nice and uh, animate the scale of the shape itself. Uh, and uh, make it a little bit higher and, and make a keyframe in here and go like this. Make it zero. And it creates a very good disappearing effect for our brust. Okay, let's make it easy. And now let's take a look. Not too bad. It's very nice. And maybe a little bit in here. Or maybe in here. Now let's take a look. Good. Let's rename it burst and place it below of the button. The other thing that you want to do is that we want to animate this stroke. Go to button and click on the stroke. Add a turn pad. Sorry, turn pad. When this pad is going in here and touching this button, this stroke must be a start. And also, so let's make it easy ease, offset that to start in this point. Very good. And now let's take a look. Good, not too bad, but a little bit faster. And maybe let's animate the offset. Very nice and uh, good. Okay.
And now let's create a null object for changing the position of the actual scene and parent this brass to this, this pad, cursor, and also this null object. And change the position, the spine, then also when it's coming here, make it in the center. Now let's take a look. It's good, but change the keyframe interpolation to easy ease. Also go to graph editor and change the actual graph of this key, these keyframes. Very nice. Okay. And uh, pre-compose all these layers except this uh, background layer. And control shift C to pre-comp and put its main shape. Also drag a drop shadow to create it more artistic and uh, put it in here. Let's copy the polygon motion fixed and then paste it in here. Also in effect wind thin blends. Put it in the shape to create a transition and animate the transition completion. Drag it like this and wave. Let's uh, press U on the keyboard to adjust the keyframes, make it easy. Place it in here and also place this in here. And also, I've animated this polygon uh, motion fix in the animator with property of opacity. Make sure that the opacity is zero and in range selector, animate the start. Okay, it's very easy. Now, let's take a look. You see a very good and very cool click on a button uh, animation, and you can use that in your project. Okay, my name is Uchu Shade from Polygon Motion and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Polygon Motion YouTube channel for great VFX and motion graphic tutorials and using the coupon code below you can find any Polygon Motion course on Udemy uh, with 50% off. There's a lot of courses going on on Udemy about motion graphic, about basics and all other stuff. This was our tutorial, I hope this was helpful for you guys and see you next time.